Hey everyone, and welcome back to Joystick News. Today, we're diving deep into the shadowy corners of Gotham and beyond with a comprehensive look at Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League Season 1. It's been a whirlwind of anticipation, skepticism, and everything in between for this title. But folks, Season 1 seems to be a beacon of hope, a shining bat signal in the dark for the game. So, buckle up as we break down why this first season could be the turnaround Rocksteady Studios desperately needs. A rocky start with a glimmer of hope. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League, kicked off with more of a stumble than a sprint. Between the delays, divisive plot, and a pivot to live service that left fans scratching their heads, it's safe to say the launch didn't go as planned. Warner Bros. even labeled it a financial letdown. Yet, amidst the storm clouds, Season 1 emerges, promising new content and perhaps a fresh start. Unpacking Season 1, The Game Changer Season 1 isn't just a light update, it's a treasure trove of new content that could very well put Suicide Squad back on the map. We're talking a lineup that includes new characters, maps, weapons, enemies, and boss fights. This isn't just any update, it's a comprehensive overhaul that rivals and perhaps even surpasses what games like Apex Legends drop in their seasonal updates. New faces and places. At the heart of Season 1 is the introduction of new content that's bound to shake things up. The Joker, a figure as controversial as he is iconic, joins the fray, bringing with him the new Mayhem map and a host of incursion missions for players to tackle. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Weapons inspired by infamous DC villains like Two-Face and Scarecrow are on the docket alongside a cast of new enemies and boss battles that promise to test every squad member's mettle. The split strategy, a stroke of genius. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of Season 1 is its division into two episodes, fear and duality. This episodic approach is not just about pacing, it's a strategic play to keep gamers engaged over a longer period. With each episode bringing its own set of cosmetics, weapons, missions, and boss fights, Rocksteady is betting on sustained interest rather than a fleeting visit to this chaotic universe. Why Season 1 might just work. The decision to split Season 1 into episodes and to pack it with both paid and free content might just be the lifeline Suicide Squad needs. Free content, especially of this scale, signals an understanding of community feedback and a desire to right past wrongs. It's a bold move that acknowledges the game's rocky start while paving a new path forward, one where players have compelling reasons to come back time and again. Final thoughts, a new dawn for Suicide Squad. As we look towards the release of Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League Season 1, it's clear that Rocksteady Studios is not going down without a fight. This season represents more than just an update, it's a statement of intent, a commitment to the game's future, and a sign that the developers are listening. Whether this will be enough to reverse the game's fortunes remains to be seen, but one thing is certain, Season 1 is a step in the right direction. So, what do you think? Will Season 1 be the turning point for Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, or is it too little too late? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more gaming news and reviews right here on Joystick News. Until next time, keep gaming!